。咁啊，今朝阿拉嚟嚟喺香港搿餐厅呢，就是吃中东的菜，不晓得哪有没有吃过中东的菜呢 ？I got every word of that <笑>。Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's Andrew here from the Fun Bros. I'm here with AB. What's good? And we are in the Soho district of Hong Kong right now. Hong Kong is known to be a very, very international place, and the food scene is amazing out here. So today we are about to go on a massively delicious food crawl through the trendiest and hottest restaurants in all of Hong Kong. And you know we couldn't eat all this food without our local HK foodie friends. On my left, I got foodie and fashionista L. Hey guys, Soho is my favorite neighborhood. I'm so excited. I need to eat. And to my right, we have fellow YouTuber and comedian Jay Lu. Hey guys, so I mixed just like the food crawl today, so I'm so excited. And yeah, I'm excited for the food crawl. Let's get started. All right, today we're eating some Thai food, some Vietnamese food, some Chinese food, and some Lebanese food. Are you guys ready? Woo! I'm ready. So ready to eat. Let's, Let's go. go. We're at Soul Food Thai, which pays homage to Bangkok street food, but is not afraid to take it to the modern level. All right, the food is here. Soft shell crab pad thai. This is like your traditional pad thai, except the twist is putting a soft shell crab yeah. on top. Yeah. We'll just go spaghetti style with it. You see that twist? Oh. Mm. Mm. Nice hints of uh, citrus. Mm. Uh, the spice is just right. It's really Which, soft and juicy. That's the best part of the crab, though. Is that like that white part that connects to the body? The body. Yeah, all the meat. Right? The body, yeah. yeah. The soft shell crab sets it off. I have Isan chicken right here. Isan, which Isan. is the northeastern part of Thailand. Are you saving yourself the leg? <laughs> Don't <laughs> lie. No, I'm gonna you give you the, the leg. leg. Give the I leg know you yet. like the leg. I've eaten with you plenty of times. I leg saved you the leg. Oh, All you right. know I Isan, Isan grilled chicken. chicken. Oh my god. Mm. What the heck? That's a tender piece of chicken. I feel like it came from like. Barbecuing or something? It was actually smoked and then grilled. When you smoke stuff, that's when it really falls off the bone. I love the skin. I know the skin's so good. It absorbed everything, like the juice and the fat and the flavors. Sauce is perfect for it. A bit sour, but also like spicy. We got masaman lamb curry paired with jasmine white rice. Some Just, potatoes in there too. I got you, Elle. Thanks. And I'm gonna make sure it comes up in a ball. Tell me that wasn't <laughs> a solid bowl. It's Come not, on. Not it's not really. really. Yeah. <laughs> It's actually pretty sweet. I think the sweetness comes from the coconut milk. Lamb, not gamey at all. It's supposed to make you a calmer person because lamb is very mellow. Mm. So really? you eat lamb, you become mellower. Really? That's not good. I want to keep being extra. <laughs> all right, everybody, we're ending off at our first spot, Soul Food Thai, with some dessert. Coconut milk that's been churned till it freezes with salted caramel, my oh. favorite. Oh my yeah. gosh, it's so just, soft. I was admiring you guys. Oh. Just, I want to bring all my friends to try this thing. All right, I know you guys want to keep eating ice cream, AB. I'll get my last You're gonna bite. fill up. That's my Wait, last bite. My <laughs> we are going to another spot. It's one of the most popular spots in Hong Kong. A lot of people like to go there. Let's check it out. This next spot, man, you won't forget the food and you won't forget the name. Holy fuck, which means good fortune in your mouth. You eat here, oh. you happy. Let's go get some fortunes in our mouth. All right, I'm here with Chef Zhao. Zhao, can you describe Holy Fruit to us and what you guys are trying to do here? We're a funky Chinese restaurant. Yeah. So these influences are coming all around China and all around the world. They're inspirations that I take from the things that I eat, the things that I grew up with, and uh, the techniques that I have with a little bit of a twist. Zhao has described the spot as a, the best non-authentic Chinese restaurant. This is oolong apple tea with real bits of apple in it. Whoa! Wow. She was ready to drink. Slay my jam. This is cocktail. Oh, it's a cocktail. Oh, this is the Wagyu tartar. How do you guys feel about eating raw beef? It's my first Amazing. time. Oh. All right. I like it with the cucumber. There's chili peppers in there. It's got a lot of spice. Oh, okay. I wasn't ready for it. It's not Sichuan, but it's a really spicy tartar. This is the Wagyu beef. Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh, you're going to give me that. <laughs> you are Fred Flintstone today. Just crispy on the outside, so tender on the inside. This piece right here is fried, kind of like a cartilage, so it's crispy. And this is the Wagyu, and then this is the shallot kimchi. With the puree jalapeno oh. sauce. Oh, oh. I love the crispy skin outside. We got the lamb dandan noodles over here, smothered in peanuts. I mean, this is really yeah. thick. This is really, really. Oh, man. Give that it three C's. Taste the lamb in this. Mm. It's not just noodles. Yeah. It's so good, yeah. especially when you eat it. It's like in your mouth. It like. 
just booms. It definitely is a surprise because you think it's dandan noodle, you taste it, but it's nothing like the other type of dandan noodles I've had. And so this dish is actually called, the real name, the mostly cabbage, a little bit of pork, Jiao's mom's dumplings. Let's go. Right. Let's go, guys. Dumpling tier. Wow. Hey, it's that's crazy. really good. There's a lot of meat in here. <laughs> It wasn't Napa cabbage, because usually Napa cabbage is what's in it's dumplings. Like... It's the actual like Western cabbage. Holy Fook was delicious, man. This is actually my first time eating here. Holy Fook was good. <laughs> you guys ready to go to the next spot? Yeah, yeah let's go. I'm ready, man. Yo. Yo, I'm really full. Cool. I think we need to chill for a bit. Yeah, me too. Okay, Yo, that's, that's perfect. perfect, that's perfect. We actually got to go hit up our friend Bao's spot. We're going to shoot at his new spot, Le Petit. We will be right back. All right, let's go to Bao's spot. Yo, what up, Val? So, Yo, what's, what's good, back? man? It's been a whole year since we hit up your spot, Lake or Son Saigon, and I see you got a sister spot right next door. Tell us about it. Yeah, man, we just opened up a little shop next door just selling bun me. So the bread's fresh. Let's go get you guys some. Yo, Let's do it. I'm ready. Talk about it. Yo, this is very like Becky. Have you had a bun me roll that like? No, definitely not. Oh. So this is a rolled pork belly. Oh, and then we got yo, I told you, oh. Vietnamese um, head cheese, chicken liver pate. Oh, that's yeah. Like, and then we got some mayonnaise. Oh. And then we got some pork floss. Oh, the yuk song. Yep. Oh. So, onions, cucumber, this coriander. Or... Oh my gosh, bro. This is my first bai mi tit. You got the bai mi su mai, got the bai mi tit, bai mi ga right here. Hey, I want the first time I'm gonna try it, see what she says. There you go, now that's how you do it. Yeah. But I really like the combination of the sauce and the greens and the meat at the same time. Like, it's so fresh to me. It's really good. Mmm. Pate is on point. Slices nice and fine. It's sweet. I feel like this is like a bun me lover's bun me. Because I normally just have pho for Vietnamese and I've never tried something like this before. And it's like, it's just so good. I just can't stop eating. All right, here's a special bun me. Probably something that. Most people I've never had before. This is the shumai bun mi. Oh yeah, good thing. Good, good thing I put this tray here. It's so juicy. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of wanted the juice to drip out <laughs> of my bun mi. Oh, I've never had bun mi's that tasted like this ever in my no. life. No. All right, guys, we just had some delicious bun mi's. What a way to end it off with some refreshing drinks. I got a soda chung. I got the cafe suda. And pasha for tea for me. Oh man, it's refreshing right here. Whoa, between the bun mi's and the cafe suda, I got the energy. We got to finish off the rest oh, of this crawl, right. man. Okay. Thanks, bro. Thank you so much, Bob. Good to see you, boys. I am here with Chef Jad, who is from Lebanon. How would you describe this place to people who have never had Lebanese food? It's a very casual place, uh, healthy food is uh, traditional, mixed with a twist of uh, modern. Uh, our customers are uh, mostly uh, European uh, locals. I also heard that Lebanon is oftentimes known as like the Paris of the Middle East. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a uh, it's very trendy and cosmopolitan city. All right, yo, I'm so ready. Thank you, Chef Chad. Right, I'm excited. Oh, oh, oh. Guys, look at that. This is a honey glazed grilled halloumi, which is a slice of cheese, and it has a coriander dressing on top. This is like your favorite thing to eat. I, I feel like I judging on your reaction, cheese. you're like, wow. that is so crazy. It looks almost like fish. Cheers. Cheers. That sauce makes it different, I think. Like, if you give it to me without telling me it's cheese, I don't think I'd know it's cheese. Okay, let's start it with is. the vegetarian favorite. Cauliflower. Looks like a volcano. Guys, that's not a mint sauce. It's a coriander-based yogurt type sauce that they blend together. It's actually a little bit spicy. Let's learn how to make this. It makes vegetable enjoyable. Yeah. So there's a tar chicken. The tar oh is a spice. Oh my gosh, just look at that. You got Ooh, cauliflower, you got yeah. some jalapeno peppers, you got some pickles, you got some uh, pickled radish here. The tar oh. chicken. Mm. Very crispy chicken. Crunchy. Before I even put it in my mouth, I could smell it. It had thick crust and it was crispy but it wasn't too hard. We got some Australian beef skewers. Uh, the name of this dish is Lebne Mishwe. Are you saying it right? <laughs> Are you saying it right, Andrew? Lahem. Lahem. Lahem Mishwe. All right, Let's the name of the dish, Lahem Mishwe. Paired with a garlic tomb sauce and something very uh, hot next to it. Is it chili or pepper? We gotta know the difference. Red it's pepper, it's red here. pepper. Oh, non-hot Why you no, Oh, oh, you went for it. Ooh, no, it's good. Faking it. Yeah, <laughs> it's good. No. The sauce, the garlic dip was really good. The garlic, and then the meat itself was tasty too. The way they spiced it and seasoned it, it's very tasty. Here we have four different types of one of my favorite desserts, baklava. Oh, it's very hard. It kind of reminds me of long so tong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, it's you're talking about the dragon, dragon beer candy. Yeah. That's really interesting. Sweet, nutty, soft. L. Yeah. Interesting fact. You speak Shanghainese. I know. We're in Hong Kong. Yeah. A lot of Shanghainese people have moved to Hong Kong. Yeah. My grandmother's actually from Shanghai. Ooh, so you must speak Shanghainese too. Uh oh, we're exposing him again. Alamama is Shanghainese. Alamama is Shanghainese. Good morning, so I'm here in the Hong Kong. 去听呢，就是吃中东的菜，不晓得哪有没有吃过中东的菜呢 ？I got every word of that. <laughs> chom chom, or you want to pronounce in Vietnamese, chum chum, that means rambutan. This spot is centered around the beer hui culture, which is drinking culture in Vietnam, where you kind of just sit, chill with your friends, kind of pick up food and sip on some beers. Let's go get some Vietnamese bar food. This is a pomelo shrimp salad. We got shrimp, pomelo, some carrot shreds. Vinegar. Do you think that's fish sauce? No, yeah. it, it better be sauce. fish sauce. <laughs> that is Vietnamese gravy, all right? Yeah. Wow. It's very, it's sour, it's fresh, that's new. It's got some tanginess from the fish sauce. So this next dish is the shaking beef. Yo, that's really good. Oh man. I'm shaking in my boots. Got this lovely sauce. I think it's a lime based salt and pepper sauce. This beef is really tender. Shout out to this calamansi drink right here. Calamansi are like small lime. Really small limes. Oh, okay. So like a lime soda kind of? Or? Yeah. So this looks like a bánh cuốn, but they call it a pho cuốn here because there's beef in it. It's pretty much rice paper rolled with beef. They like to call this the pho roll. Yeah, the pho roll. Yeah. Pho real. For real. Pho roll. Oh wow. Oh, I like the fried shallots. Oh, if you look on the bottom, it's pan fried. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Beef rib, lettuce wraps. It's like a full on meal right here. Yo, this is like a boat. Yo, it's got vermicelli. Oh, yeah. What's the guy? It's got beef, it's got some peppers. Yo, those chilies are strong. It's so juicy, man. I love the noodles in it. All right, everybody in the comments below, let me know what you thought was the best looking thing that we ate on this food crawl. Thank you so much to our local HK foodie friends. And until next time, we out. Peace. Merci, delicious in five languages. Kohome, how way down. Very good. Very good. And rico, or delicioso. I would say rico. Yeah!